ਆਉ ਫਿਰ Hey guys, so since this is a season of good tidings, it's actually our favorite season. Exactly. Yeah. Make sure you download our Christmas EP called Christmas, Christmas with you. you. Every year we release Christmas songs and we think that this particular EP, you'll love it. It's got soulful songs, it's got Afrobeat kind of infused songs, but it's all talking about the festive time of Christmas. Listen, even if you don't say about Christmas, you're gonna love this album. It make you feel good. Download it please guys. You're gonna love it anyway. So. so it's available on all streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes, any way you can think of. Download it, stream our videos, watch our videos on YouTube. It's called Christmas with You. You see it somewhere. <laughs> Link down below. Hey, 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 whatever. Download it and support your girls. Thank you. Bye. talk a little bit about the Amazon hair salons. So um, what's his name? Bezos? Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Jeff Bezos, Jeff you know, we all know that he wants to own the world, you know, and he has decided to open up hair salons. Now, um, where I, for the first videos that I saw, I knew about the hair salons, but I didn't, I wasn't aware that they were going to be doing okay. black hair. Mm. So that came as a bit of a shock. So there's quite a few TikTok videos of black girls going to get their hair done. And the, the ones that I've seen, the hairstylists are black as well. Mm. Um, I think the first one, the stylist, the hairstylist wasn't black. Really? Mm. Mm. Was okay. that one that just did a black like, blow dry or something? No, she was getting, it, it was braids. Oh, yeah. Braids, yeah. So the, the hairstyles that I've seen, the hair actually is really, really good. But the, so the, the videos that I've seen is that people, it's been, I've, I've seen that like, two lots of um, discussions. So one discussion I've seen has been that it's like the gentrification of the black hair salon kind of mm. a thing. And then the other one, and basically by gentrifying it, because obviously Bezos can afford to, his prices are a lot more competitive. So they're basically saying, how by him be selling, making his prices as cheap as they are, I think hair start, I think prices start from like 40 pounds. I think one of the girls, the most expensive one that I've seen, the girl pays 60 pounds for a really nice hairstyle something that would probably cost anything upwards from like 100 120 so i think yeah so, so somebody basically said that the price list that's going around mm. where it says 40 pounds it's 40 pounds per hour oh yeah no. so it's the hourly rate so for example like that box sprays <laughs> yeah like box sprays would be like 160 or something like that but Go on, can, can, yeah. go on. So basically, but even 160 is yeah. quite competitive yeah. compared to some of these Instagram yeah. um, oh, um, yeah. um, um, hairdressers. So anyway, but it's still not cheaper than aunties though. In Peckham, I think you can get box sprays from about £100, maybe a little, little bit less. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So anyway, so people are complaining about that because they're basically saying it's like they're taking food out of, you know, um, the aunties' mouths. Mm. And then other people are basically saying, well, the Instagram hair, is, is this, the reason why there was a gap in the market is because the Instagram hairstylists with their ridiculous, oh, wash your hair, oh, basically come with your hair done before we do your hair. Those people, and then they charge you an arm and a leg to do your hair. Those people have almost priced themselves out of the market. Mm. And they've, and we're in a recession, innit? So mm. at the moment, cost of living and all of that. So this is what I can afford. So yeah. I don't mind going to, so it's like you've got two. Yeah. So what do you guys think about it in general? So I never really thought about them taking food out of the auntie's mouths, mm. which makes sense. <coughs> the, the, the Instagram people, on the other hand, I think they're rip-offs. Mm. So I'll rather go to Amazon. I've never been to the Amazon salon. Mm. Uh, I've seen posts of people like on TikTok or whatever, mm. getting braids done and they're really nice. And the fact that they're still using black um, stylists, stylists mm. yeah, that makes me happy. Like, I buy things from Amazon, so what's the difference with me doing my hair at Amazon? If they're, if it's still a black Yeesh. person doing my hair, yeah, yeah, and they're getting paid for it. Mm. I mean, me personally, I, it's it's not something that I would do. I would rather find a black, you know, um, entrepreneur, you know, um, stylist, stylist, somebody that has their own business. Mm. I'd I'd prefer to, you know, support. If they charge you double, no, 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 no. Obviously, I'm, I mean, I, I prefer to find somebody like, like the person that does our hair at the moment. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's not giving us Instagram stars. Like, you know, it's, it's not she's not cheap because her work is good, exactly. but 
you know, it, it's, it's affordable. Her prices are affordable. So if she's not available, then we'll go to Peckham and go and get a Peckham auntie to do it. Yeah. I think one of the things, even though, so I think for box braids, it's around 160. So I, I, but I think that one of the things that you're getting, mm -hmm. but I think one of the things that you're paying for with the Amazon hairstylist is that you're paying for the professionalism that comes with it. Nobody is asking you to pass hair. Mm, oh. right? You're not dividing, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's you are not, you are not partaking. No, I mean, and you're, you're not paying. the you're, paying, you're paying someone to do your hair, and then you're helping them do your hair. Yeah. And you're still gonna pay them. I hate that. That whole dividing oh. of hair. Oh no, no, it's too big. It's too big. Oh, oh. I can't. That's my worst. Black, black hairstylist. Even a woman that does my hair, she does the same thing. Mm. Black hairstylist, please. That thing that you're doing, you need to stop it. It's, a, it's, it's, it's the customer service. Oh. All of the videos that I've been seeing of this, um, um, Amazon, nobody is asking her to pass hair. But we don't see it though, really. They, no, they're, oh, not. they're not. They've got, they've got the racks. You know the oh, racks that, yeah, where they, where they okay. divide, where their hair's already yeah, divided. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. The women are sitting down. They give, them, they, they give them something to drink. Sometimes they, sometimes they even wash their hair. If the people, are, like, they're not telling you, oh, wash your hair, straighten your hair. They're, sometimes, you know, yeah, it's included. No, the girl said it's included. Really? Yeah, what, the girl. For them to wash your hair. Yeah, the girl said she, she went there and it was included. The, hair, the washing the hair was included. To be fair, I wouldn't want to do that there anyway. Yeah. I would do it. But some people don't mind. Oh, some no, people don't no, no. Maybe you get a time, maybe you're coming from work and you need to get, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, you yeah, never yeah. know. You never know the, you know, the scenario. <laughs> to pass so, the hair. That's what I'm saying. So, 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 so it's, it's the professionalism. Oh. You're, 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 you're sitting in a professional environment. It's a nice. You feel and you're not doing the work. Yeah, you feel it's you know, the nice mirrors, nothing's leaning, you haven't got screaming children in the corner, nobody's eating chin chin. No one's talking you know what loud, I mean? shouting on their phone. Like it's, it's, it's a professional environment and, and, and I think that, I do think that black people are, are willing to pay a premium for services that are good services. Yeah. And I think that one of the reasons why these Instagram stylists are getting such a bad rap is that you're overcharging people and your service is trash. Mm. Your service is trash. If your service was good and you were overcharging people, then I'd be like, well, because that's the thing, you're, you're, it's the luxury you're paying for, yeah. isn't it? Well, because most of the time the hair is actually nice. Yeah. Like, it's like the experience to get to that. Yeah. Is, it's traumatic. It's traumatic. Like, you're just traumatizing people. <laughs> Everything is lean. Your shop is leaning. <laughs> oh, you're, in your in you're late. You're late. Yeah. Oh. And then when and when your customer is like you want to charge your customer, but when you're late, you, you just expect them just to be understanding. Mm. Like like to me, I just feel like the, the, the I think that you should charge people what you think you're worth. But at the same time, you know, black black um, hairstylists, black nail techs, whatever, because Bezos is gonna come for the nail tox techs next. Yeah, trust me. Soon you're gonna start seeing nail salons, Amazon nail salons, salons popping up, and it's gonna be on point. He, he's not gonna have. Um, you know, because a lot of our, a lot of our a lot of the, the people that provide nails and nail services is not only black stylists. There's a lot of like Asian, mm. South Asian and people. You know, speaking Mandarin, speaking all their. South you know what I mean? Asian, isn't that East? Is it East Asian? Not Vietnamese. I think East Asian is is yeah. Okay, so a lot of like Korean, mm. um, Thai, Thai um, Filipino, Filipinos, Vietnamese, 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 all these people opening up shops. But at the end of the day, a lot of them their customer service is trash as well. Mm. You know what I mean? You're, you're talking, you're talking your language. You're, you're rude, you know, you're, 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 just everything is just like, do you know what I mean? It's like you're forced to go there because you don't have a choice. You haven't got a choice. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the price point is, where well, most of them, the price point is okay. Mm. It's what you can afford. Do you know what I mean? I would definitely go, if Amazon opened nail techs, I would mm. go there. I would rather go there because I would prefer, anyway. I know their sales would be nice. The thing is, the thing is, I would go there. I would go there. And, 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 and because only because I don't, because there's not enough black, that's the thing. Affordable nail techs that I'm aware of. And guys, if you know a, a full, black affordable nail techs that have either got their own shops or, you know, offer a remote, a, a remote service or whatever it is, tag them below. Because, yeah. you know, I feel bad for people in, in, in these industries because most people's experiences is, is, are negative. Mm. But so it's, so it's almost like the good people get overshadowed by all of the negativity. Mm. So it would be good to kind of, you know, tag people that you actually receive a good service from and let's start boosting those people to, in, in the algorithm oh the, the thing is i'll be honest with you i think nail techs doing my nails is a bit different like i think i can do my nails anywhere i don't really i don't really have but i, I would feel, like to support black business oh no no i hear you, no, I, hear I, hear you. I hear what you're saying but i'm saying that i feel like with the hairstyles so falani braids 
garnet braids, box braids and whatever, I feel like there's more of a spiritual angle to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that yeah. is, I think that's a bit different. That's where I kind of, I'm a bit, I'm tussling a bit with, with the Amazon thing with that. My client came to her appointment nine months plus two weeks pregnant and already four centimeters dilated. She started feeling pressure, so I allowed for her to lay down while I finished her hair. I thought, what if she gives birth while she's here? Her hair still turned out so cute. Two days later, she gave birth to her beautiful baby girl. Cause I, you know, I mean, I feel like it's, it's just like a spirit joining. I've grown up like you know, like we've always been told that like, you can't just let anybody in your hair. Do you know what I mean? And it's and it's like and it's the fact that because it's uh, like white white people again colonizing black culture, isn't it? Mm. That's that's literally what it is. Like it's similar to when um, all these kind of um, gentrified Jama West Indian restaurants started popping up yeah. in London. You know what I mean? The food was 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 terrible, you know, and, and it was because it wasn't Jamaican or Caribbean people cooking the food. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It was a white person that decided to open up a, you know, a, a, that kind of made it like Nando-ish. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it was like, no why, flavor. no flavor, no nothing. But even if the food was flavor, why are you profiting off of Jamaican culture or mm. Caribbean culture? Like, it's not cool. What? No, no, I'm just, it's, it's a tough one. This Amazon thing is tough because mm. I feel like finding a good, Hairstylist, mm. anyway, mm. is hard in these streets. Mm. Like we were very lucky that we've got someone that's literally down the road from yeah. where we live, mm. and she's she's excellent. Mm. But that service is still not there. Yeah, it's You're not right. there. Like yeah. Anna mentioned, the whole hand in her hair. Mm. I hate doing that. Like I just want to be free, Being doing late. my hair in it. Mm. Let me just get on with it. Being late, literally turning up, and the shutters are down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is the time you told me to go, mm. and there's no one here. Mm. That kind of shit. Mm. I, I can't deal with that. Even go to Peckham. I would go to Peckham, you're, you're haggling with people, people are yelling at you as soon as you mm. get off the train, like all of this shit. But you get your hair done and it's nice. Mm. The Amazon situation, I would only ever go there if it was a black person doing my hair. Mm. Like, obviously, I wouldn't let an uh, uh, oyable person start braiding my hair. Mm. Like, but it's the, I know what you're saying about it's almost like the whole gentrification of yeah. black hairstyles. And that, that's the bit that worries me. But it's kind of like, is it similar to. I don't know because yeah I don't know because there's there's pa there's places mm. in Peckham for example mm. that like there was a okay there was a salon that we used to go to mm. in Peckham that there's black hairstylists in the salon but yeah. it's owned by a white person yeah, or, yeah, is yeah. that not similar to the Amazon? It's si I, I think it's similar. I do think it's similar. I do I do think it's a similar thing, but I feel like peckham is peckham isn't it? yeah like peckham, yeah, is, peckham is gentrified. yeah like peckham is gentrified but we already know that the hair salons it's our needs that are going to be there so yeah, even yeah. though we know they don't own the shop it's if they're making their it's, money if they're making their money yeah. like we're, we're, we're directly supporting their pocket yeah do you know what i mean but with this whole bezos thing like, because i think i don't know if like it would be different if there's the the, the hairstylist in amazon they're renting a chair yeah. Then you know that the money's that's their money, isn't it? Mm. But it's not. Like I, I don't think it is. I think they're on a salary. Well, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know. know this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. know how it even works. whether they're on a salary, they're working. The bottom line is that we're just making Jeff Bezos even richer, isn't it? Mm. Ultimately, it's an Amazon. Everything goes into his pocket. Oh, we buy things from Amazon. No, I know so we like... do. No, I know we do. Okay, but at the end of the day, if, if we had the opportunity to, like, for me, I. When it comes to black hair products, a lot of the time I prefer to go to Peckham and yeah. you know support. You know. The, the you know the black art you know, that's got a hair shop or whatever but a lot of the time the customer service isn't good mm. and, they, they, and, they don't, and, they, and they don't have the products mm. so you know i just think that the more and more um black hairstylists black entrepreneurs lack um the commitment to provide these a, a, a good customer experience the more and more you're going to push people to, yeah. to go and support mm. Rather, yeah. do you know what i mean so so i think that you know we have to take some ownership over what is happening in our community as yeah. well yeah. Yeah. we can't we, you know jeff bezos he's seeing a gap in the market exactly isn't he? so you know if, if if we were doing our own shit, he wouldn't be able to come in and and and, and exploit exploit it but he's exploiting it because you know all these people, they have people online, they see the people on Twitter mm. cussing all these Instagram stylists. They, mm. they can see the discourse. Mm. So they're seeing it open in the market. Definitely. Mm. I, think, uh, I, think, I think he's I think he's he's diversified his team. 
Because I feel like as a black person, they came up with this idea. I Probably. don't think white people sat down and said, let's open, let's go and do each other on the No, <laughs> I, really I don't, don't think so. That. I think they've hired black people and they're bringing diversity to the thing. Cause I'm, that's what I think. Well, it's a hair salon, isn't it? It's a hair salon. And, and, and I think that more and more white hairdressers are seeing the value in doing black hair. Like, yeah, like, there's, a, like there's, a, there's a white woman on, on TikTok that she was like one of the first people that I would see on TikTok. And she, she, does, she basically straightens black people's hair. Yeah, she, does like a, she does like a chemical treatment. It's yeah, not a relaxer. It's, it's, like a, it's like a keratin treatment. Yeah. Black people travel from there yeah, and yeah, white. Well, she, nice. she, she actually said she's mixed though. Oh, okay, she. Oh, yeah, okay. she said she looks like a white woman, but I remember there was time when they were dragging her. For saying that you're a white woman, did it, did it, did it. she oh. actually said, I'm, Okay, I'm, she's I'm, mixed. I'm, but she's white passing. When you look at her, she looks yeah. white. Yeah. yeah, but there are a lot of, okay, even in, I don't know if you see, but there's a lot of like American lives, and you see like American women doing like stitch braids, yeah. stitch cornrows. Like, you white see women. them? Yeah! There, there's, there's a Mancunian guy though. That I does, think I've yeah, seen yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does so, so, so I think that, you know, there's, there's a lot of money to be made in black hair. Mm. And you know, and they know this. Yeah, and they know it. And every other race knows this. That's why they're all latching on. Well, Asians have been doing it from day dot, innit? Mm. They own every shop in Peckham. So yeah, but black hair. But I mean, yeah, that's true. But I mean, actually doing black hair, not just selling our products. I mean, actually doing black hair. Yeah. So, so you know, I just think that the black hairstylist, you need to sort it out. Mm. It's not just good enough to be able to take a nice picture and post it on Instagram. Your customer service, you need to improve it. Mm. And it, it feels like it's a universal thing. This whole <laughs> terrible experiences with black hairstylists like what is it like, like why, why do we feel we don't have to offer good customer service yeah. to other black people why do we mm. why do, do you know what i mean why do we look at other black people and feel that they don't deserve to have a good experience we, and we, but, we, but, we, but you deserve our money mm. <laughs> we, we, we've got to unpack it yeah because we we've had so, we've done so many talks on this mm. like and it boils down to the whole black business thing and black people just that familiarity mm. it's, That's it is, isn't it's, it? it's also anti-blackness though it's also anti-blackness because i feel that other black people don't feel that other black people it's deserve a deserve a certain it's level of treatment yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's anti-blackness that's what it is you know so but, we, we, we definitely need to sort it out because bezos is coming for your check so we you know he's already needs to there, get, yeah he's there. already there where, where are i might i might actually try one i think i'm gonna try one. Oh, bezos i'm gonna try it and see how it goes See what happens. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's not for me. I'd rather go to Peckham. <laughs> no, I'd rather go to Peckham. But so, Bezos, open one in Peckham. Yeah, if you do it in Peckham, I'm coming in. If you open one in Peckham, it will burn your shop down, mate. Burn it. Bad fire, bad yeah. They will burn it down. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about it. Has anybody actually visited? We'd like to know. Yes. We'd like to know. Because I, I think before the hairdressers, we were seeing, oh, no, I'm thinking of Primark. Because mm. Primark opened the barbers, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And at least I do nails as well. All right, guys, let us know what you think about this story. If you like this reaction, give us a thumbs up, comment it and subscribe, and hit the notification button because if you miss it, you, you miss, miss it. it. Cheers.